welcome back to this channel and to the vlogs. If you are new here, hi, my name's Leandra. I'm a 3L at Duke Law, and I'm so excited to be vlogging today. Excuse my voice. I was not prepared to talk right now. I was going to vlog a little bit later. Today is actually picture day. Um, shit's getting real in terms of graduation. I'm graduating in about a month and a half, and I think this is the first event, like graduation event, where I'm just like, wow. It's, it's, it's real. I'm graduating. Like, yeah, I was going to vlog a little bit um, when I was fully ready, but I'm currently trying on what I bought for graduation uh, for class pictures, excuse me. Um, now, I did not have to buy anything new. The only requirement was like a dark suit. Um, and I have a couple of dark stuff here that could be perfectly fine, but you guys know me. I have to, I have to... I have to. It's the principle of the thing. First of all, look how stunning and structured this is. Something about turning 25 really did it for me in terms of being aware of the quality of my clothing. And even though this was expensive, I think it's like a hundred and something dollars, I am so happy with my purchase. I'm I'm literally so happy with my purchase. It does come with a belt, but I belt aside without talking about the belt first. I just really love this. It is not the first blazer dress. I ordered for my picture day. I actually almost banked my picture day on this blazer dress that I got on Revolve. It's the super down black blazer dress and it just did not work for me at all. I got a small and I have wide hips so when it came all the way around it just like it had like a slit that was not supposed to be there that wasn't there on the model. It looked like real stretched when you use the little attachments and it just did not look good it did not fit well so i ended up just you know quickly ordering this one and i am so happy so this is what the belt looks like i got this also because of the belt i wanted to have a little bit more personality i saw in the uh other class pictures that some people they came in black attire or dark blue attire or whatever but they were able to show a little bit of their personality and i wanted to do that too you guys know me um so this is the belt it actually zips um, in the back and I'm gonna put it on and this is it with the belt on it's just stunning like I need to fix this little link right here um a little bit later I don't want to do it right now because uh, I kind of want to get back in bed but look at it it's just so it's stunning and things are getting real I can't look <laughs> makeup done hair done look listen I look the fuck good I'm a little late I am a little late but we look good, and that's all that matters. Our grad day has come. Finally. <laughs> the day has come, y'all. Fears and pain <laughs> and sorrow and depression. And depression. And anxiety. Anxiety. Talk to him. Talk to him. <laughs> Testify. Testify. <laughs> Every day. Every day. <laughs> It is hot. Oh, I think I forgot to. Oh, she swung! She swung at us! My lord! My 
Lord. I'll give you guys a tour of the moot court office at Duke. And this is not shirking my responsibility as being a Duke sponsor. <laughs> I am not coming for Duke, but sometimes I just walk into these offices of like the, even the, um, what's it called? The journal? The journal space downstairs? You guys just have to see, okay? You walk in and it's giving 60s furniture immediately. <laughs> guys, look at this. I mean, at least you guys have a a little mini fridge. That's kind of cute. Oh, it's unhinged. Oh, it's un oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oof! <laughs> I would never go Gee, okay, there's a microwave here. I didn't know that. That's kind of cute. It's kind of giving. You don't know if it works? Oh, it's dirty. Okay. Damn, I'm kind of exposing them right now. But look, they win a lot of trophies. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just, there's just so much money at the school. I'm just confused why they would give you all these pillows. Look at these pillows. They found this at the thrift store, I'm pretty sure. Like, I just, it's actually crazy. myself the biggest headache <laughs> the biggest headache because on my way home the new york law exam results came out and i was trying to look at it in my car but the website i think crashed because i wasn't trying to look at it at the same time and i just felt so overwhelmingly filled with anxiety like just so like it was actually debilitating debilitating <laughs> like and I was just talking to my boyfriend about you know I don't know how he and everybody else can look at their bar results um, because if I'm getting so scared about an exam that I can like retake easily I can't imagine opening up my bar results like I, I just I just can't so I was like I think I'm gonna just have him look at it when the time comes but anyway, hello. I have not talked to you guys in a minute because vlogging has been super, super difficult. Actually, everything has been difficult. Um, and I'm partly or mostly blaming my lack of medication. Um, not until you guys just saw was I able to uh, refill my ADHD prescription. And it's really always <laughs> when I don't have it or when I can't take my meds that I realize how much I really need them usually sometimes I convince myself you know yeah I don't need these I don't really need these uh but the last two weeks without them have been hell getting anything done has been a hell finding motivation just just not being overwhelmed by tasks including vlogging has been so difficult so I'm glad we are able to get back on medication because I have so much to do next week is the last week of class um we got the that's finals like there's a lot of things to do and I just need to get on it. But I passed the NYLE, so don't worry about that. That is done. I'm glad I don't have to retake it. Um, another thing that you guys have missed, because I don't I have not vlogged in a while. I also am one of the nominees for class speaker um, for graduation, which I think is so awesome. They did release the list of everyone who is like nominees. It's a pretty long list. There's a lot of chefs in the kitchen, but there's a lot of great chefs in the kitchen. So I'm happy to be nominated. I would love to do it. Um, if it doesn't happen, that's fine because I think anybody, mostly anybody who gets it on that list is going to do an amazing job. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, what else has happened that you guys have missed? I've been having a lot of like shipping issues and that's something I've been dealing with also with anxiety. Um, with my graduation pictures coming next week and then graduation, things like that. I've been ordering my things with the appropriate amount of time, right? And then something keeps happening where I either have to return it because it doesn't fit that happened yesterday or there's a delay, which is happening right now with mesh key mesh key uh this delay or my package went missing for kalantar um so it's just been a lot it's been a lot but kalantar um it's a brand that I ordered a set from for my graduation pictures and also what i think i'm gonna wear on graduation day they um 
they like I think watch one of the videos I made on TikTok complaining about <laughs> my package not coming uh, or getting lost by DHL and they reached out and they sent me a replacement um so I shot that should be here on Tuesday uh the dress that I tried yesterday from Club L London I didn't fit that's my main also one of my main graduation photo dress should be here either it said today but I ordered it last night again but it said today but it should be here a decent amount of time um we'll see what's going on with Meshki I don't know what's going on with Meshki but we're gonna cross our fingers but that is for um gavel ceremony happening next Thursday so there's a lot of events. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on. The girls need to be dressed and these these shipping carriers, whatever, they're just not giving right now. So the plan for today is this. Today's Friday. My friend Vanessa, yesterday was her birthday, but she's having her birthday party later tonight. Um, so we're going to go do that. But beforehand, I'm going to spend the next couple of hours doing a practice exam for my securities and litigation uh, class. We're going to review that exam and also try and fix my rule statements. Um, and then I'm going to start thinking about uh, my exam for gender in the law because she did give us the prompt already. Um, it's pretty simple, easy. She's not a she's not a difficult professor, which I really appreciate. So I'm going to start thinking about what I want to write about and trying to like compile things together ahead of time. Um, and then we'll see where we end up on time. If we have more time, then I will also work on my uh, nonprofit paper. But First, I gotta have some breakfast because I'm also sure the headache I have is because I'm working out, doing all this stuff, and I'm I didn't eat anything. <laughs> finished doing the review of the first practice exam and I think it went pretty well. I was a little bit confused though when I started. I haven't taken an exam in such a long time it feels but I was a little like discombobulated but once I got going I really got going and this is everything that I wrote down. So all of this according to the exam this entire section is like five pages. It was supposed to take about 30 minutes and then the second part was also supposed to take 30 minutes but it had two questions. I don't think and I could be wrong but based on the the answers the uh, model answers i don't think we ever addressed or talked about the second portion of this essay question um, but i did create a little notes and i'm including questions to ask during the review sessions um because i'm like girl did we did we go over this <laughs> but it went pretty well and i'm thinking maybe i'll do another one but we'll see <laughs> um, it should be a really fun day actually there are quite a lot of activities planned um, first is the bolts of brunch in about an hour and 30 minutes then there's the black farmers market and also uh, the dba the duke bar association student organization at duke rented out like a section at the bulls game for today so we're gonna go to that all of these activities are <laughs> some that I should not be participating in because y'all I did not do 
as much as I would have wanted to do yesterday on Saturday because after the party, I need to keep remembering that I am an old lady now. And when I drink, I cannot bounce back as quickly. It took me all day yesterday to really get going. Just a mess, okay? Just, just a mess. So I should be, I really should be staying home and doing other things, but also like, it's senior year. So I wanna go and like hang out with everybody. But right now I'm about to apply for the bar. I even think I forgot to show you guys that I got my bar application or my bar study material. I'm taking Themis because um, a lot of my friends are Themis reps this year. And look at how many books, like six books. This one down here at the bottom being the biggest. And I think that's why I've been procrastinating applying for the bar because every time I get something bar related, I need some buffer time to really take in the fact that I'm going to be doing this very soon. I've got my little setup right here and all I need is my transcripts and then this is what the New York Bar website looks like and my account is somewhere over here but I don't want you guys to see all of my information but it's there. <laughs> New York is taking my money before I even before I even get there and we are confirmed <laughs> okay we've got the fit for brunch this is from a brand I discovered just by googling clothes and stuff called I Lorm um, so it's like a two-piece set you have these purple cute little purple pants I'm wearing my silver heels and then the matching top I loved this thing going on this little shape and also the color because I'm trying to do something a little bit different with my outfits recently. Also, this is Kente cloth, and I'm just so happy it fit right as I put it on. Like, I'm so happy. Um, I got this in a size four, I believe, and then the pants in a size six, just because, you know, we got a little, little stuff back there, and I would highly recommend that if you have wider hips, because like I said, Kente cloth, it's not completely flexible, but I love this outfit, and I'm just so excited to get out of here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna leave. vlogging today but I just got my package from Kalentar uh, the missing package that that just drove me so insane I'm so thankful to the company for resending me another one of these because no alternative would have done justice this thing this set is insane it is insane like it the quality the corset the skirt like I'm so excited to wear this for my pictures. I'm so excited to wear this for my graduation. I feel like I'm a little sweaty right now because I've been like <laughs> running around just so excited. But you guys, this set, this, uh, 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, it is the last day of class ever, ever. And most importantly, the last day of law school classes ever. Like, yeah. I put on a little fit for the occasion, you know, because because and if you guys would remember during 1L when I first got on campus I was really dressing like I would go on campus really styling it up and if I remember correctly this top I wore during one of like the first week of in-person classes because I was really into this top and it's just so funny to me the style progression because I was very like hippie um very <laughs> <laughs> very I think Y2K but much more on the hippie side of style at the time and then the style now is just so so different the way that it looks <laughs> like look at this I know the lighting keeps changing but like look at this also today's the last day for my one of my nonprofit professors um, Joel he's uh, like a lot older and he's been teaching this nonprofit course for a very very long time and today is his last day he's decided not to come back uh, he's done so much like important work in the nonprofit sector it's actually insane to be in the room with him uh, much like it's insane to sometimes be in the room with like professors at Duke who have done some of the coolest most insane things you would ever imagine and I'm just sitting there like we're all just normal people <laughs> but we got an email from uh, RTA this morning saying that um, they're going to be basically having a bunch of speakers today which is good because I didn't read um, <laughs> and they're going to be basically honoring him before he leaves and, and stops teaching um, and there's also going to be cameras in the room so you know gotta be camera ready <laughs> but yeah I know I'm acting like I don't have finals or studying. I have been studying. I did study yesterday. We will be doing um, some review of a securities litigation uh, practice exam I did yesterday um, and then seeing what that goes from there. Uh, but when we come back, I have so many packages to show you guys. asking us like how do you feel especially like two L's and one L's who are overwhelmed with finals and they're like you guys must be so happy and I am incredibly happy to be over and done with classes but also I'm sad I'm sad because y'all <laughs> this has been my life for so many years so many years of just going to school and now I have to go into the real world and as exciting as that is I think I've mentioned before it's also very scary um to do it's different it's new it has taxes I have to pay, but there's just a whole other thing. But um, I have a little bit of time before the event tonight, and that is Gavel. Gavel is the way the Black Law Student Association basically sends off its graduating class. We go, they put our little picture up on a slide. Um, black faculty members come, and we also, I think we honor one of them, and we get these cute little gavels. I went to my boyfriend's um, last year, it was cute, but I want to take the time to show you guys some of the packages I've gotten over the last couple of days because y'all, I have been shopping and it's really bad. Like as soon as I start doing returns, I'm going to get so much money back because <laughs> the way I have been buying things and the funny thing is my outfit for Gavel is not here. So <laughs> I paid for next day delivery because I think I mentioned before it was originally supposed to be a mesh key set. Um, something happened with shipping and it was held up so then I reordered the set because they were like oh it'll get there ahead of time than the one that was held up so I reordered it not gonna come at the time that they said it was gonna come so I had to order something else yesterday well actually I ordered something else <laughs> um 
the day before and then it came and it just did not look it did not look right so we ordered from revolve and we got next day delivery and hopefully it comes very very soon if it doesn't i have no clue what i'm gonna wear but um more exciting things here's a bunch of packages <laughs> first off these shoes right here steve madden's i have similar ones i have the slinkies and these have been my tried and true since second semester of 1l year um but they do get oh my god there's a nail behind it um they do get uh or lose their tightness around the little sling part so i wanted to try these ones and also <laughs> My boyfriend told me that he actually does not like these shoes <laughs> and I used to wear it all the time when we first met so he really just kept that to himself for like a year and a half or a year almost but he says he doesn't like it because it reminds him of <laughs> he says I look like an African auntie and I don't I just don't think he knows what style is okay because no I do not <laughs> I will not be keeping these though because I got a size 9 and I'm usually a size 8 and a half I just thought I should size up but I should have just gotten my real size and honestly they're not as comfortable as the slinkies like when the, the slinky material is what makes it comfortable this other hard type material I, I don't know I don't particularly love it and we have these shoes from nine west that i'm supposed to be wearing tonight for gavel and you guys i am in love with this pair um, i got this in a size nine and it is gorgeous as you can probably tell i love the whole metallic silver vibe that is really trendy right now i think the shoe is so sexy and it would have been so great without an original outfit i had planned but we will see we will see if i can I can get a chance to wear these and it's only like $50 on Amazon so I think that I am going to definitely keep these and not return that and then these shoes right here another pair of silver heels they're supposed to go with the white outfit from Kalentar that I showed you guys in <laughs> in a previous clip. Um, I could have just worn either this one or the other pair of silver metallic heels that I have. But I really wanted this tie, um, this lace-up feature uh, because I thought it would look really good with the skirt and the top. And it does. So that is saved for my photo shoot on Sunday and then the last and final one I need you guys to look at these Jessica Simpson shoes okay I need you guys to really take a moment and admire the beauty of these purple heels look at that beautiful Jessica Simpson's out here really doing it um this is for my one of my outfits for my graduation pictures I'm trying to find another place where I could wear this at it's definitely low enough that I could possibly wear it at graduation itself but I was hoping to go for more of a block heel type situation so I don't risk any type of falling, tripping, whatever. But these are gorgeous and I got them specifically also because of the color and the pointed toe feature. Like they're they're amazing. And these all came within like the last day, literally yesterday, so I have not been keeping anything from you, friend. Uh but this also came yesterday okay and this is the mademoiselle dress from club l london in their bottle green uh, i originally got the shorter version of this dress in a size four which is my usual dress size but it would not pass my bum so i got the longer one which is the one i originally had in my graduation vision board and i got it in a size six and it fit perfectly it has like a cross neck feature super dramatic which is what i kind of want my photos to be i'll try to include the pinterest vision board for my graduation and my graduation photos specifically it's very i want it to be very earthy very editorial um kind of like picnic vibes i don't think that's the right way to say it but very aesthetically green like i'm from the earth ethereal a goddess but humble Y'all picking up what I'm, I'm putting down? Yeah. So that, this is one of it. I'm so happy it came on time. I'm really so happy. Um, and the outfit is this green one. The purple shoes, purple and green. It goes so well together, exactly the way I pictured in my head. And then the hat, which I got on Amazon because if you guys remember, we don't get our graduation stuff until May 1st. I've been having to scramble around to find graduation gear. Uh, but the hat... The tassel is purple, the shoe is purple, and they all just complement the green so well. Like, I'm just, everything's coming together. 
And then we have the graduation gown. This is not the one I will be wearing on actual graduation day. This is just for pictures. Shout out to my girl, Emily. I think her name is um, Poshmark. Maybe because, you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to just keep this and frame it along with the hat that I'm buying from Duke because they're talking about like hundreds of dollars for this gown. And my girl, Emily, sold it to me for like $40, okay? And she did that rush shipping so I could get it just in time for my photo. So... I love you. Um, she also sent her, her, what's it called? This is called like a lamb. The thing that you put on your neck. So <laughs> I, this is the wrong color for my school. Like the school is for Duke, it's blue, white, and then blue right here. But the reason why I wanted this is purely because of the purple. Like I just want to put it around my neck and get a picture with the gown and this together um for probably my parents to be honest like a lot of people that i see who take graduation pictures for law school they don't really post the photos with all of this because it's kind of bulky and a little ugly not gonna lie there are prettier ones i have seen them the ones at columbia are gorgeous and i would wear them <laughs> but I just want to make sure that I have at least a couple of photos professionally taken, especially given the, how much I'm paying for my photographer uh, of myself in full gear. Um, so if I want that later on, or my parents want that to, you know, frame it or something like that, they have it. They have the option. so fine yesterday to this jump scare right now but good morning okay it is the next day and y'all i got home last night and had to take down my braids to get my hair done today um i'm about to detangle it and i'm just so so glad i don't have to wash it like i'm so glad i don't have to wash the hair and that my hair stylist actually has hair and conditioning uh, hair washing and conditioning included um i feel like it's bare minimum to say that but you guys you guys know how how it be out here i mean look at my cute little filthy little buns <laughs> um everything about me is like filthy right now like my house is filthy everything is just, just a chaos uh but this is what i used to detangle my hair this uh curl wave s curl no drip curl activator i said a lot of words just now and i could have just said curl activator like moisturizer it's in this blue bottle i don't think that's what you're supposed to use it for um but it really like loosens up loosens up my curls and makes it so much easier to detangle my hair so that's 
I think I like found it in my sister's um, arsenal of hair products once when I was home and then I just kept using it. So I usually just spray like a little bit of it and then I, especially like at the base where, you know, those little dirt, <laughs> those little dirt um, pile-ups can be, I spray a little bit and I like massage it into the hair and then I just comb it up and it works really well. I would 10 times recommend it. I'm, I'm hoping to leave here uh, my little nap things that I should leave here by 8.45. I'm hoping to leave a little bit earlier than that because, you know, she doesn't have a late fee. She just has like a cancellation. So I could get like 15 minutes if I'm late. And that door, she just kind of like cancels my appointment. And that just can't happen. <laughs> With my pictures this Sunday, nothing can go wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to try and leave a little bit early. But I'll show you guys how well this to the Kangles in a second. Um, but gavel was so nice. This was a really nice gavel ceremony. I think the board did a really good job. And it's really like special to me, especially because the 2L class, who was about to be 3Ls after I leave, after we leave, I was really close to them uh, because of how much <laughs> social stuff I hosted last year. So it's really nice to see them all just like grow into their own and just become like the people they want to become. And I think they hosted a really, really good event. It was better than last year's gavel. I did a tent last year's gavel, not for lack of planning, but just because like there was a lot of pretend at last year's gavel um there was several member members of the graduating class um all women who i mentioned before were basically bullies um and um, didn't treat us my class very well attempted to isolate us and, but in the sake of professionalism um we all had to kind of show up and put up put on a smile and still kind of host this event where we're all like pretending so it was bad vibes <laughs> clearly uh but this one was just like it was so sweet like it was just really nice it's nice to have a class just speaking about my 3l class where we are so basically drama free like we just mind our business um we talk things out we're not petty we don't bully people and we're just like there we're just there trying to survive this experience like it's just you guys see that you see how like and I did not comb in at all before like I did not the only thing I do when it comes to like having really old ass braids because these had been in my head since like before my birthday um <laughs> this was my birthday hashtag in February 10th um what I do is after I take down a braid I usually break down the little dirt um the little dirt pockets with my fingers I separate them and then I just do that and I feel like it loosens it up even more before I apply the activator so so quick <laughs> about 15 minutes later and we have a fully detangled fro that looks kind of clean like i told you guys this thing truly is the truth um also the class speaker like find the latest nominations just came out i did not make that cut but my friend vanessa did and i am so excited for her like she is one of the best people here at duke and she's just so involved and i love her so much i cannot wait to just like mobilize for her and vote for her like i just did i feel like i'm one of the first people to vote because i just saw the email um uh, but i'm just so excited for her uh, i would have loved to have like done have done it obviously because i was like in the running but i'm not gonna lie as like voting went on i was getting a little like <laughs> i was having nightmares of going up on stage and choking <laughs> and stumbling and stuttering in front of like my entire class and um like just the video that they take too um and i was a little worried uh, that the entire graduation day i would be so <laughs> anxious about giving the speech that i wouldn't be able to enjoy it obviously i think, always encourage you all to face your peers so obviously i continue to put my name on the list and keep you know getting voted on but i am a little bit relieved i will admit it <laughs> i am a little bit relieved that it's not me <laughs> it's not me this year and i get to sit back and, and relax and cheer on my friends so there's still just so many exciting things happening over the next couple weeks like it's it's crazy hi i'm here for my appointment at 11:45. Like 
those curls. Like, this is a There was a little white cast on my install yesterday when I came home that I did not notice um, when I left the salon. And from what I could see online, it more or less can happen that way. This is so soft. I bought the hair from her actually but yeah so but what i can notice some of the girls just like leave it like that um i didn't like it i did not like it because i wanted my lace to be a little bit darker a little bit closer to my um to my skin especially because i've been getting a lot of sun recently it's been like 83 plus in Durham for the last couple of weeks so i wanted my i wanted my thing to just be a little bit closer to you know a shade match so what i did <laughs> And probably not in the safest way. I got some lace tint mousse. So like as I was like driving back from Charlotte, I was like, you know, watching videos and stuff, and they're like, you need to get like a, a tinting mousse. And that's what I did. And we're just gonna we're just gonna look at the results of that. Ugh. I don't know. I felt like the white was like, I feel like it was very like, <laughs> if it's like closure is closuring, okay? And that was my biggest fear about getting a closure in was that my closure would closure. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you just don't really want that. But I think it looks pretty good now. There's no white thing. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? <laughs> Let's see if I can do what I see them do all the time on on TikTok. You know, a little hair flip. I'm like holding my closure. Why? I don't know. It's glued down. <laughs> it's glued down to my hair. Hello? <laughs> I'm literally so like scared of this thing. I don't know why it's just okay i do know why it's new and that was the whole point it was supposed to be new and that's what i wanted and now i'm just like it's so new that i feel kind of like <laughs> insecure about it like everyone can tell i have it on like i don't know i think the bigger question is like what do i want to do in terms of a hairstyle tomorrow because i was originally gonna just ask her to um do curls and then pin it and, and just wear the pins up until my photo shoot on Sunday afternoon. But I wanted to see the hair. I wanted to see how it, you know, how it worked. I wanted to see what it really looked like. And I'm glad I did that. But now I have to worry about doing the curls myself. I did order uh, the heatless little wand thing from Amazon to come and from what I'm seeing if I do it right it should be able to give me some good results I'm just scared that I'm gonna mess it up I also think I need like a little face beat <laughs> like I should beat my face just a little bit and that would really make this all set in <laughs> and here's the real test in the daylight
here is the hair with the layers cut into it. Shout out to the uh, lady at Culture Hair Studio here in Durham, North Carolina. Like, it was one of the owners who cut it. And I walked up to her at the exact moment that somebody canceled. Before then, she had, like, a three-hour appointment. Like, I would not have been able to get my hair cut. Um, so it was, like kismet okay and she did a fantastic job i think the, la the layers work a lot better for me like i already loved my hair before i love it 10 times more now that's impossible it just makes me look like my age young fun all of that stuff so i'm glad we were able to get that together um later tonight i'm gonna put the little amazon heatless curl thing and that's gonna be the hairstyle for my photo shoot tomorrow but right now i've been cleaning house looks good i'm about to open one of my props for my photo shoot tomorrow and that is a bouquet of roses i ordered this from rosaholics and this is not sponsored i just thought it would go with the theme so let's just check it out because they actually got here yesterday and i hope they're not all like messed up here are the roses you guys this is the circus rose um roses i did order three but i only got two so i don't know what's up with that but um, I thought they would look a lot bigger too, but this will work. Um, I got the color scheme again just because I wanted purple. I did originally want a Duke blue <laughs> roses, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, those are ugly. Like in terms of blue roses, North Carolina, like UNC blue, gorgeous. Duke blue, gross. Um, so I decided to just go with the purple theme with my tassel and the, you know, the robe and the shoes. Go with that. So I think I'm just going to like put these together to make the big bouquet that I wanted. Hopefully by this point you guys are not sick and tired of me talking about this dang on graduation photo shoot. If you are, I'm here to tell you bitch me too because i'm ready to think about something else other than the shoot um i was talking to my boyfriend yesterday and i really wish i was one of those girls who just like gets a nice pretty dress and shows up at you know the duke chapel and takes your graduation picture and that's just it like i really wish i was one of those girls unfortunately for me i'm not unfortunately because the process of it is kind of stressful <laughs> This entire process of like ordering things and making sure things are right, make sure your hair is right. Like once I get a vision in my head of how something like I want something to look like or how I want something to go, it is so hard for me to steer away from that. Uh, and I was talking to my boyfriend yesterday that like <laughs> my fear of failure, my need for perfection really shows up in the most interesting ways. And this is one of them. What you're seeing right now is one of them. Um, and any... Uh, like any given Sunday she has a TikTok and an Instagram she recently left her big law job to do some stuff with uh, in, uh, TikTok and moonlighting and all sorts of stuff but she made a video um, right after she left that really resonated with me basically talking about how she was like some of the things that she was happy to, about getting out of big law was consistently living in fear and that's something that Big Law really thrives on. Uh, it, they really, really want you to be scared to not be perfect. And that's something I already have. Like, law school cult cultivates that. Uh, I already have that. This is a manifestation of that. <laughs> um, and it's really something I'm going to try really hard to work to work on over the summer. Like, I've been trying my best to do that over the last couple, last year or so, but I'm gonna try so hard over the summer because it is detrimental to you as an individual and only helps the big firms. Like, only helps the big firm. But I, that was a little tangent, but I just finished putting my little Amazon uh, heatless curler thing. I did do it also last night, but I um, wanted to see if it worked because this, it was my first time. So I took it out this morning, like around 6 a.m., just to see what the curls looked like. They looked cute. Um, I think it'll do. I did um, for like a minute consider just stopping by a salon to have them uh, do it for me, but I don't think it takes that long to curl hair. Like <laughs> someone's already doing my makeup. Let me let me keep some of my coins to myself. <laughs> Every time, like, I got it done on Friday, this driving cold, I could not stop looking at it. It was just like, jump scare. <laughs> As y'all can see, she bodied this look. 
cheap body this look i will have everyone's info down on the description box because she really did that but i am now on location there's a bunch of people here i'm hoping that they all skedaddle very soon <laughs> so i can get all my pics alone i need nobody in the back My feet are killing me. <laughs> like, legitimately killing me. We are back. <laughs> back in the same spot I left you guys at last night, okay? I tried to get as much content as I could possibly get today, and I, I hope I got enough for you guys. It was so much harder than I thought it would be to, like, be modeling, be the one uh, in front of the camera, and also shooting the content, and then we were consistently moving. There were lines. There was just a lot going on today. Like. I actually wish I'd taken my graduation photos a lot earlier to avoid all of these lines because what? And I don't know if this is going to end up where I want it to end up, but there are these, I'm pretty sure there were sorority girls, Duke undergrad, that took forever at uh, the Duke Chapel Drive area because I want to take pictures there. They took like 30 to 40 minutes there and we were too nice to not want to be like behind them and like fucking up their photos so we kept hoping that they would move and they never did so if this ends up on your for you page you suck okay you suck anyway the whole photo shoot i think was a really big sleigh the makeup was a sleigh the outfit was a sleigh um especially like this one obviously the green one gave but this one gave exactly the way i wanted it to especially with these flaps I cannot wait to get those back, but I'm about to put this back in its little vase and then take my makeup off. Unfortunately, my $110 worth of makeup off, and then I'll see you guys very soon. Good morning. We are about to head off to my last in-person exam ever. I say in-person because I get accommodations, so I'm not sure exactly what that'll look like. Fingers crossed that I am by myself in the room because I am very much in the mood to talk to myself during this exam and being with other people would seriously hinder that. But today is my securities litigation exam, the exam that I'm most nervous about. Um, I put that in quotation because this is the most relaxed I've ever been. <laughs> during final season um i think i say this every single final season but i'm just so ready to get this over especially this exam it's my only like rigorous exam i'm over it i'm over it. <laughs> like i'm just ready to take it and what always happens the first couple of minutes after i look at a question no matter whether or not i feel like i fully grasp the material i feel like i know nothing so i'm prepared for that I'm feeling pretty relaxed. <laughs> it is what it is. I've studied what I've studied. I don't know what I don't know. And it's just time to put pen to paper and get it popping. So we're going to head to campus. Um, my test starts earlier than everybody else because of my accommodations. So we're going to head to campus 
and just give myself some time to like find my room where I'm supposed to be, settle down, pull up my outline, things like that. Um, but the plan for this week after this is going to be super relaxed. Like tomorrow, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take my gender and the law exam. It's a 24 hour exam, um, open book, open whatever, <laughs> like very, very chill. Um, so I'm going to do that, then run some errands. I have a bunch of returns to make. Then on Friday, I have my uh, slavery and the law exam and that's like an eight hour exam. Um, it's also open notes, things like that, untimed, well, eight hours. Um, and then Sunday is turning in my nonprofit paper, which we already worked on and it's already done. So per to that. Um, and then the only thing left after that would be to turn in my uh, contract drafting assignment, um, my last drafting aircraft purchase agreement, that's already done. So that's probably why I'm so relaxed, right? That's probably why I'm so relaxed. Like things have been done, we've been working on things and it's just time to just submit, do it, submit. So let's head to campus. I'm home and the exam went way more smoothly than I thought it would especially considering the way that I've been like studying or not studying um in terms of listen compared to 1L what I did for this exam was nothing I might as well have just sat on my ass and not done a single thing compared to 2L same <laughs> so I thought I was gonna get stumped like I mentioned earlier didn't really happen and that really highlights the importance of of putting you know taking those practice exams because it was exactly like the practice exams every single one every single step exactly like the practice exam so if there's anything you need to do especially if you are you know if you procrastinated your law school studying your outlining you have an outline just go straight to the practice exams but i need to show you guys my um my photographer sent me my proofs already for my pictures and oh my god y'all when these come out I'm going to feed the girls like really the whole point <laughs> I'm just feeding the girls like that's crazy and I don't even know if I'm allowed to show this to y'all without like her permission well it is pictures of me but it's like the proofs and she hasn't edited them, edited them yet but listen the concept, the way that I can just, you can think of something and then watching it come to life. This white dress, this white set, I knew it would give and look at it giving. Look at it just giving and the flowers, the setting, everything is just, listen, look. Look at these photos. Look at these photos, y'all. Y'all, and then we get some cute ones at the end there because it was nighttime. We were running out of sunlight, so we just got some really cute pictures of me holding the flowers and stuff. But look how cute! Look how cute I am! A law school graduate. Okay, good morning. It is Friday, April 28th. Okay, I just have to say that for my own reference and also for like my editor and also for y'all um but i'm about to take or oh, just downloaded my last law school final ever and this is for my slavery in the law class um and <laughs> this exam <laughs> like one of the questions really is just please write a dissenting opinion like i listen this class I hate that I don't have nice things to say about this class uh, completely because it is a slavery and the law class and I took it because I was interested in learning more but then you know in taking the class and being part of that whole entire sh you know yeah thing I don't like this class I don't really think anyone in the class particularly liked the class and like the organization and things like that like i decided to take the exam versus writing the paper because i just didn't want to do i realized i didn't want to do extensive research on slavery like any more than i did already last last semester so 
I said I take the exam. It's four parts. It's eight hours. Honestly, I just downloaded the exam a little bit late because I was 90% sure she wouldn't upload the exam on time. And that's how that's how much I think about the class. That's really how much I think. Because I was really I was I felt back asleep because I was like, hey, I don't know if she's gonna upload this exam. But I'm about to sit here or lay here and take this exam use my notes things like that i do think she might grade a lot harder because she doesn't think that we really paid attention um on our last day of class the way that she talked about the class <laughs> was very different like i've never heard a professor talk about class like that basically kind of like oh everyone had different expectations you know i expected something you guys expected something and you know like just things like that and i was just like okay this this mm, this might be a little hard she might get a little hard uh, but I'm about to just do this I have from 8 a.m. to 5 30 so we're just gonna get cracking I'm gonna submit it and then I'm gonna be that and honestly she's asking us to submit it not to the actual not to the actual um place we're supposed to submit our exam but like to her uh profess to her assistant which I don't know I don't know if that's fine. <laughs> I don't know if that's fine. But you know what? I'm gonna do what she says. I'm just gonna do what she says. I, I, I find hope. I was girls <laughs> we're going out um exam has been submitted i submitted my gender in law exam too because although it wasn't due until may 5th or may 4th or whatever um i figured let's just send it in okay because i'm not gonna keep editing in that thing there's, there's just no point of it just sitting in the email i just sent it in um i could have also sent in my um my nonprofit paper but i'm gonna wait until sunday actually because I, I don't want my paper to be the first one they read like I don't want it to be the last one they read, but I also don't want it to be the first. I want it to be like right around the middle. You know, when you're like tired, you're tired of reading, but you're not too tired that like you just want to give people a bad grade. You know what I mean? So that needs to be turned in. And then my contract drafting thing still needs to be turned in, but it is due, it is done. So I could also turn that in, but same thing. Don't want mine to be the first one she reads. So now it's time for things to get super fun. And I know it probably has already been fun, this vlog. <laughs> This vlog has been very much like fun content worrying about things other than school but as it should be like I am really out this bitch there's no point of me just like stressing about things you know what I mean um, but today the MBA people at Duke are hosting an Afrobeats party um, so I was also supposed to go out with my friend Vanessa who got a class speaker and I'm like was so proud but she's going all the way to Raleigh and that's a fat 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 mission especially because it's storming outside it's just that it's storming so I'm gonna figure out what to wear because hold on hold on just a second I had initially gotten this like cargo skirt and I was going to wear it with my green top but the thing is if I now need to put on boots on top of it it's going to look a little too much. I think it's giving not the vibe that I want. I just don't have a lot of going out things and I need to work on that. Yeah, 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 yeah